Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on how to use GreenShot. GreenShot is a program that will allow you to take screenshots of your computer, and obviously there is an assignment that you have to do for this, probably in week one somewhere. So GreenShot kind of lives down here um, in your taskbar. It might be hidden from you, but um, it should be there. The way to use it is to hit print screen on your keyboard. It's a button that's uh, kind of in the upper right hand corner. It says PRTSC usually. So when you hit that, you're going to get these kind of crosshairs. You can drag across the screen to be able to take a screenshot with GreenShot. Then you have this dialog box that pops up. I'm going to talk about two different things that you can do. One's copy to clipboard and one is save as. So what the copy to clipboard will allow you to do is when I click on this copy to clipboard right here, it'll say that it's been exported to GreenShot. And then if you go into Schoology, I think I have right here, and this is actually a Google Doc. So we took a screenshot before I copied that. We can paste, control V to paste on your keyboard. It's control, which is below the shift key, and then V, V is in Victor. And it'll paste that screenshot that I just took. If I hit the print screen, I can also just select a specific area. Maybe I just want to take a screenshot of this area. Again, I'll go to copy to clipboard. And then notice I get this thing down here. I hit control V, and I can just paste that, that area. Now that's one way to use GreenShot. The other way to use GreenShot is to um, save the image. So if I hit print screen and I drag it across, rather than going to copy to clipboard, I'm actually going to go to save as. And this will allow us to save the image as a PNG file. That's an image file. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now, it's important that you always know where you're actually saving your work. I would tend to save your work to your U drive at school. Um, I'm actually recording this on my laptop, so I don't have access to my U drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it into my documents folder. But it's really important that you know where you're saving it. A lot of students will take screenshots, then call me over and ask me, I don't know where I saved it, and I also don't know where you saved it. So make sure that you're paying attention right here so that you know where you're saving it. Um, in order to find your U drive right here, this is my C drive right here, your U drive would just say uh, usually your username, um, whatever you use to log in, U colon. So you can save it to your U drive. Okay, so I'll save that right there. Now on Schoology, some assignments that aren't Google Doc assignments, like I have, um, I'll just find another, like this one right here. Um, this assignment right here is not a Google Doc assignment. And so if you wanted to upload a, um, if you wanted to upload a screenshot to an assignment like this, you would have to um, submit the assignment but when you're submitting the assignment, you can. there's usually a file button. Um, usually kind of looks something similar to this. You click on file, um, and then you would find uh, where you just... Now notice, again, I don't see the screenshot that I took. That's because I put it in my documents folder. And then in my documents folder, I'm actually going to click on date modified. When I click on date modified, it'll automatically sort by the date. And so I see the screenshot that I just took right there. I can hit open and then... Obviously, your screen looks a little bit different than mine because I'm editing the post rather than submitting an assignment, but hopefully you watched the video. Um, cancel. Hopefully you watched the video that said how to submit assignments in Schoology so you know how to upload a file. But that's, that's the key. You just hit print screen, drag across. You can save it as, save this to your U drive, or you can copy it and you can copy and paste into uh, Google Doc. Now, uh, if you, it, let's say you don't want to save. You hit the escape key or close on your keyboard, and that'll break out of it. If you hit the print screen button too many times, notice I have multiple crosshairs now on my screen. That will actually eventually cause your computer to crash, so you don't want to hit the print screen button more than once. If you notice more, more than one crosshairs on your screen, you hit the escape key. 
if you hit print screen and nothing pops up, the crosshairs don't pop up, then it's really important that you just restart your computer. So you go to, you know, start menu, click on the power button, and then restart your computer. And that's usually the best way. So again, green shot's not working. You hit print screen, nothing pops up. Restart your computer. If you hit the print screen button too many times accidentally, um, and you get these multiple crosshairs all over your computer, you just hit the escape button on your computer, and that should fix it. All right, so that's how to use green shot. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, uh, last thing. Green shot uh, should be installed by default on your computer. But if it's not, you can just Google GreenShot. GetGreenShot.org is the name of the website to download it, GetGreenShot.org. And you can just hit this Download Now button um, to download and install it. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.